we're having a heat wave, 15 degrees, woohoo! And for all of you metric people, that's like, I think around negative 7 Celsius, something like that. It's cold. It's cold. Well, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing. So we're 17 degrees below <laughs> the freezing point. So there you go. High of 19. Woo! <laughs> Scorcher. <laughs> so I'm going to be the crazy person that goes out in this. I'll be definitely wearing a hat to keep my little head from freezing off. And I'm going to meet my husband for lunch because he had to go back to work. No more days off for him. He just had the normal weekend and then yesterday for Christmas. My daughter will probably still be asleep when I leave and maybe be awake when I get back. I don't know. I'm going to try to do some Christmas sale shopping. So I'm going to leave a little early to go to the town where my husband works and do my little shopping and then meet him for lunch. Maybe I can vlog at the restaurant a little bit. I don't know. I told him it was his choice where we went because he's also got more ideas of what would be good to eat at in his little town because he does work there and eats out not terribly frequently but you know enough that he knows what's good and then I thought I would try to go to the super center there they had elf things so I'm hoping they have them on clearance and maybe I can pick up some new elf things for my little elf girl for next year and they have a dollar tree that's not terribly old so I thought I'd try to check out their dollar tree and see if there's anything left it may be so picked over that there's nothing left but I'm thinking they might have a new shipment in today, so we'll see. I don't know. And I've got snuggly kitties. Actually, they're being kind of weird right now. <laughs> Look at this. What's up with that, man? She's like on top of Pikachu. Oh, sure, now be sweet and kiss him. <laughs> Goopy bugs. I did have one on each leg, so I had leg warmers. So if you follow me on Instagram, I took a picture of that. I had one cat on each leg. Onyx is over here, chilling out in the sunshine. And socks, I don't know where he went. He's probably downstairs or on my bed. I don't know. I'm washing bedding. You know, exciting things that you have to do, like normal household stuff. I'm washing all of my fuzzy Christmas socks. And I'm washing my bedding and my fuzzy moose pajamas so I can put them on later. <laughs> I'm getting the stare down <laughs> from mittens. <laughs> Okay, so that's what's going on today. Catch you later. As I'm sitting here waiting for the laundry to finish because I don't want to really get moving yet. It's only 9 a.m. I've got time. I'm catching up on Kafoofle Miss. So if you have not been watching EJ in Kafoofle Land, you should really check out her Vlogmas videos. She did Vlogmas every day just like I did. And now look how the cats are. Aren't they sweet now? Super sweet and snuggly. And Onyx just jumped off of her little perch here, probably to go lay on my bed. She likes to lay on my bed, too. <sighs> okay, I'm just kind of psyching myself up to get up and get moving and take a shower and get dressed and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm just not looking forward to going out in the 17 degree temperatures. And Thankfully, my car's in the garage, so it's not going to be as cold as it would be if it were outside, so that won't be too bad. And I have a warm coat, so I will be fine. I'm just being a little weenie about it. But it's all going to be good. <laughs> I think the kitties don't want me to move because I'll move their little snuggle spot. But Anyway, I will chat with you later. Hello. Well, I'm ready. I just need to choose some earrings. So my husband got me some awesome earrings for Christmas. And I'm just trying to figure out. Let's see if I can show you my pants. some Christmas pants so pretty much anything would go because I've got like trees and Santa's and gingerbread people and wreaths and gifts and candy canes and penguins so I'm thinking maybe the penguins might be good so I can find them in here I think those would be cute and they kind of kind of sort of look like penguins I don't know. We'll see how they look. If you're wondering about my lips, this is Lip Sense. So I'm not a Lip Sense affiliate, sponsor, seller, nothing. I just got some from a lady at school, a kindergarten teacher that started selling it. I'm going to try to figure out what this one's called. This is called Roseberry. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let's see if I can get some more light. Oh, that's better. Roseberry. Let's put you here. We're in the bathroom, as you can tell. This is better light. Roseberry. 
and it it's not cheap $25 and $20 <laughs> and you need the gloss because this the way it works is it has alcohol in it so it kind of evaporates on your lips and it leaves a stain behind and that's why it doesn't rub off this is that kind that you've heard about on Facebook and everywhere else where you can drink stuff and eat and it doesn't come off that's why I put this on today because I'm going to lunch with my husband and I don't want all my lipstick on the cup or the fork or whatever so roseberry is the color I've got and then you have to get the little gloss to go over it otherwise your lips are really dry and you got to be very precise because it does not wipe off very easily you can use like micellar water or mineral oil to get it off but it's quite a chore and to get this intensity I think I went over this about five times yeah because I want it good and on there but I've had this for a couple years so maybe it's getting a little not as fresh or whatever so this is my lip color so I'll take that with me just in case, but I shouldn't have to touch it up. It's supposed to be good for like, I don't know, 16 hours or something. Long lasting liquid lip color. I don't know that it has a claim to the time, but anyway. Okay, these are the earrings I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna off a little card real quick. Oh goodness, okay. I don't need to see that one. Let's try this one. What do you think? I think that would be cute. Yeah. Because it's only the day after Christmas and everybody's still in a Christmas festive mood and I'm going to be doing after Christmas shopping and seeing what's what at the stores. I'm not leaving even nearly as early as I want to. As a matter of fact, it's, it's 11.20. So I'll get to my husband's work about the time he has lunch. So that'll be all right. I'll just go shopping after lunch. Which is probably okay because I'm, I may get some grocery items too. And then, of course, it's cold enough outside. I have a refrigerator that I'm driving. So, it's not like anything's going to spoil in the car. But, I won't have to worry about it at all. And if I have leftovers, I can put them in the car and not worry about them getting too warm. But I think that'll be good. I've got my little hat on. Because my hair was looking okay. I actually did it and stuff. But, it's stinking cold. Let's see what the temperature is right now. Because I don't think it's warmed up much. Oh, it's dropped again. Look at that. It is now a whopping 15 degrees in my lovely town. Holy moly. Oh, and it's showing snow at noon. Chance of snow at noon, at 2, and at 3. But it's only like a 30% chance, so. Eh, shouldn't be too bad. All right, Saturday it's showing snow. Mm. It's going to be cold enough that if it did snow, it would stay. If the ground stays frozen. But. Gosh, it's a low of five tonight. Five. Our little outside kitties have their little boxes that we made for them out of big Rubbermaid totes. My husband cut like a little hole in the door and kind of made a flap. And then inside that is like a copy paper box for insulation. So they actually are inside the copy paper box inside this big rubber tote with a lid on it. And then we put like blankets and like fleecy blankets that I get from Walmart for like two bucks. And like today, they're probably like a dollar or something because they're after Christmas sales. But anyway, they snuggle up in there all together in little kitty piles and they love it. I have a couple of them and they like to sleep three or four to a box because they keep each other warm. So works out pretty well because oh, they get cold. Their little toesies, their little toe beans are so frozen. Yeah. So I want to keep them warm because we can't bring them inside. That wouldn't do well with our other cats. And if we took them in the garage, then they would get into stuff and they'd, you know, potty and stuff in there. And that would not be good either. They'd spray our car and it would be yuck. So that's our alternative is to make these little boxes. I just found information on them on Pinterest. If you put in, like, outside animal shelters or something, it'll come up with directions. Really, it doesn't take any kind of genius to make these. You just get a big, whatever size tote you want. And then cut a little doorway in it, just big enough for the cats to go through. I mean, you obviously don't want dogs going in there, giant dogs, because they would bother the cats. But if you have outside dogs and stuff, you can make a bigger opening. They have bigger boxes. So whatever size you want, just cut an opening. And I suggest insulating it with something like another box or something. Like, the cardboard is very, very insulating. And those copy paper boxes I get from school are the perfect size for these boxes. They slip right down in there. And there's just a tiny bit of airspace around it, but not much. And it doesn't really shrink the interior of the box that much. Not really noticeably, so they don't have as much room. And then you put a, an old towel in there or an old blanket or something for them to snuggle up in. And they'll just scooch it around into a little nest and curl up and snuggle up with their buddies. 
and they're good and they come out to eat and then they go back in the box to stay warm. Yeah, so it keeps them from freezing in the winter time and it keeps them covered. It's on our patio, which is under the deck, so they're covered anyway. They're sheltered, but it keeps them warm to stay in the box. Well, it's almost 1130. I'm going to get my coat and get my little vest thingy and get ready to head on out to see my husband. Catch you later. Hi there. Oh, I turned down pentatonic because there's an awesome spot I want you to hear though. And hopefully it's not enough to get a copyright thing, but it's so awesome. I've been singing to it all the way here for 30 minutes. Just repeating this song over and over and over. I listened to a couple other songs and when I got to this one, I'm like, oh, this is my jam. Listen to this one all the way. I can't remember what it's called. It's something about the winter, but it's snowing. I don't know if you can see on my windshield. Maybe a little bit of flakes. Ah, it's a pretty snow. So I'm just waiting for my husband to get off work and take me to lunch. So let's take a, see if I can find that spot for you. Okay, I love this part. Ah! Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, I could listen to this all day long. Woo! So cool. So if you've never listened to Pentatonics and you like acapella music, oh my gosh, and you like music at all, pretty much, you're gonna love it. This is the, let me see if I can find the case for it. It's gotten squished. Pentatonics Christmas. Highly recommend. Has that awesome song on it. It also has God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, I'll Come All You Faithful, White Christmas, I'll Be Home for Christmas. This one is called, it's number nine, so it's called Coldest Winter. And you can listen to them on YouTube, too. They have... Sorry, I keep looking for him because the garage is that way. Um, hello, lost my brain. YouTube. Yes, look on YouTube for Pentatonics because they have awesome videos of them. So that's really good. And I'm taking my seatbelt off. Okay, so I got a really late start. I had intended... I had intended... I had intended on getting here about an hour ago and doing a little shopping right over there at the super center, but the laundry was about done and I did not want to come home to having to make the bed like from scratch because I cleaned everything, all the bedding and I just wanted it to be done. And so I got, I waited for the laundry to finish and got the bedding put back on the bed and got all my socks put away and all that stuff because I didn't want that hanging waiting for me to come home to it. Because I'm going to probably have some shopping things to put away, possibly, maybe, if I find anything. It's probably going to be very picked over by the time I get there, because there are some people that are diehard after Christmas shoppers, and they probably got here at like 7 o'clock when they opened the doors. Yeah, because Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are like the only times that Walmart Super Centers ever close. Like, ever. The entire year. So, they close like at 6 o'clock p.m. on Christmas Eve, and they don't open again until the day after Christmas, so the 26th at whatever time. I'm assuming like 7 a.m. I don't know really. I've never gone that early, so I don't know. But, yes, it's gorgeous out here. I should probably call my husband let him know I'm here. I finally got a hold of my husband on the phone. It took him like four rings to get to it because I guess he was in the middle of an oil change. So he's going to finish draining the oil or something or get it draining something. I'm going to finish up what he's doing, wash his hands and come out. So then we'll go eat somewhere. I'm sure it'll be tasty. This poor woman looks frozen. She's run back and forth twice now. Oh, she forgot her purse. That's why. She went to get in this truck, and then she ran back. And I guess she had forgotten her purse, so she went and grabbed it. But, oh, she's bundled up because it is really looking nasty outside. Let's see what Yield Mary temperature is now. Hmm. Some beautiful flakes falling. Oh, it's still 15. Still in they've upped the chance of snow you think <laughs> it should say I think it says 90% I cannot see I think it's like 90% yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a 100% chance of snow right here it was not snowing in my town but it is snowing here the drive wasn't bad at all though because it wasn't really snowing on the way but it's it was snowing as I entered town it's just really pretty flakes though really pretty little tiny flakies and they're very wet because they're melting as they hit the windshield because I have the heat on in the car yeah, so I'm gonna go. Somebody else is leaving for lunch. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna listen to some more pentatonics to keep my mood happy and wait for my husband to come out. My hair is sticking to my coat. 
I am bundled, friends. I have those really thick, like, velour leggings on. And I have, like, really tall calf socks, really thick ones. And I have boot cuffs. And so the socks, the bottom of the socks meet the boot cuffs. So it's like having another pair of pants on my knee down. So it's like having long johns, but on the outside. And then I have my boots on. So I've got three layers on my legs. My toes are a little cold, though. Yikes. Oh, that's something else I want to... I can't see my finger on the camera. I want to make sure that I get some um, inserts for those boots that I just got. And my husband mentioned wanting some insoles for his work boots because they're getting a little thin feeling in there oh, I need to turn off the little you know the little notification thingies you get that you can hook to someone else's Wi-Fi or whatever those drive me bananas like you're trying to there's another one right there so look the wireless network um no <laughs> stop it I'm using my data knock it off when you're in the middle of trying to like type a list or text somebody or look at something and this dumb notification pops up. I need to turn that off in my settings. I just keep forgetting to do it. But it just irritates the bejeebers out of me. Yes. So I need to put oh, boot insoles. Okay. Done. Oh, he's not back yet. That's okay. I will listen to some more pentatonics and just enjoy the warm snuggliness before I have to get out into the frigid cold. Yeah. But I might try to film some of the snowflakes because they are really it's, I don't think it's the kind of snow that you can build a snowman with. It's kind of tiny and more sleety, sleet-like. It needs to be just a little bit drier for it to stick and stay. But we'll probably get some of that kind of snow later on, like in January maybe. I'm praying that we have a snow day when we're supposed to go back to school. Because they're already built into our schedule, so we're going to school no matter what. But if we have snow days, we get bonus days off. Yay. That's what I'm hoping that we get. Yeah. Who's with me? Who loves a snow day? Yeah. It's like a surprise vacation day. It's a gift, people. It's a gift. And more than one in a row is like, oh, angels singing, the heavens open, and rainbows shine. Yes. Falling stars, shooting stars, all kinds of stars. <laughs> it's just incredible. I love it. Yes. Nothing is better what? Oh, there he is. I think. There he is. I gotta go. Ah, survive Walmart. My nail did not. I looked down and half of it was gone. I went, oh, dangerous shopping. These are ready to go anyway. They made it through Christmas. That's what I was hoping. I limped them along. This one had split. And so, yeah, it needs to go anyway. <laughs> so whatever. My husband called me while I was in Walmart and said, hey, can you get some shoelaces for me? So I'm assuming his shoelaces must have broken or one of them. And so I got him some insoles for his boots too. Since I was over in that section, <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm done. <laughs> it is cold. And it's just, it's pretty snow if you don't have to drive in it. It's not dangerous or anything. It's just I'd rather be inside. Snuggling with my kitties in my pajamas. So, I'll show you what I got when I get home. I did find some elf stuff, and it was half price. So, yay, score for me. And, yeah, I'm going to hit the road and go drop stuff off to my husband and then go home. Talk to you later. See the snow? Oh my goodness. Baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Hey, made it back in one piece. Talked to my daughter for a few minutes. Then I ran around and found receipts for things I need to return because I found clearance ones of the same thing I got earlier. So this is one thing that I just bought is this green shirt and so I'm not taking this back but I think it looks really cute with these pants look at these pants with a shirt yeah I think it looks cute let's see if I can get a shot in the you mirror see how that looks with the pants I think it looks really good with the pants because there's a lot of green in it I was wearing a red shirt with it and it was just too much but I think the green looks good okay then I found are you ready? Ready? Elf things. Oh, yes, here they are. So, 
$4.95. So I had bought this originally for $9.95. It's going back. I had originally bought this for $9.95. It's going back because I had never opened it either of those. And then these were things I had had my eye on. They're really for the boy elf, but I think it'd look cute on her too. I think that's really cute. And this, look at this little superhero thing. And if nothing else, the little boots will look cute with that too. But I thought that was really cute. Yeah. And then I found a different size of sweatpants for my husband. Daughter's poor Christmas PJs ripped. The night she was wearing them, a little button that has a little flappy in the back ripped. I'm like, what? So those are going back. I tried to find her different size and all they had was the wrong size. She tried on it was ginormous. I'm taking that back. I have two moose PJs to take back. Oh my goodness. Look how totally gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. I saw it hanging on the shelf and I'm like, oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, I could not resist it. Look how beautiful. I don't think you can tell. Let me get a hanger. Check it out now. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the little like sheer stuff on the bottom. It's going to be so cute over some leggings, maybe with a scarf. How pretty. Ooh la la. Yes. And I don't think the light does this any justice. So I can go when it's darker a little bit. Let's try this. See how pretty it sparkles? Look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Then I also got, I took that with me, didn't use it. I got a little wallet because my wallet does not fit in here. I love how bulgy this is. I gotta clean it out already. I thought this little cheapy wallet would be good to put just the essentials in there. I got some little gel insoles for my new boots. And you saw, or I told you, I didn't show you. I told you I got some shoelaces and some insoles for my husband. I gave those to him before I left town to come home. I got boring stuff like mozzarella sticks and barbecue sauce, cream of mushroom soup, you know, stuff to make party foods for New Year's Eve. So, yeah, that was about it. I really, I didn't really look through the Christmas section that much because don't really need anything. I mean, we got plenty of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, we could get like candy canes and whatever, but you saw the haul of candy canes I got in my stocking. I'm not going to run out of candy canes anytime soon. I'm pretty sure I have enough candy canes to have one a month for a year and then I'll be good for Christmas next year. Yeah. So my daughter just asked me if I wanted to play a game and I said, yeah. And she said, what? And I said, Yeti and my spaghetti. And she's like, okay. I said, okay, just let me grab a beverage and I'll hop on down there and play with you. So I'm going to go have some fun with my kiddo and... I will probably check in with you later, but if not, thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Good job. Get the Yeti in my spaghetti. Spagooter. I have a new opponent. Her name is Onyx. Onyx Ball. Which one looks good? They all look good. <laughs> Not playing right. Those have already been chosen. I cannot reach you with that that has already been chosen. That one? I get it. Good job. <laughs> good job. My turn. There you go. Yeah. You watch them over here. We should be celebrating Bearmas. Yeah. Celebrating Bearmas. I broke the Bearmas rule by leaving the house and doing stuff. But now we're just chilling. Oh, holy night. That was scary. That was scary, huh? <laughs> Coming from behind, feverish. Snicky, snicky. 
Ninja Kitty. <laughs> Turkey Bird, quit. You have toys. You have literally so many toys. <laughs> Great. Mittens in on the action. Pikachu, you might as well join us. Everybody else is up here. Yeah. <laughs> go big or go home, right? Oh, now you come. Baby. Yeah, there's no way. He's like laying on both of those. This one. Mm, yep. Aww. He got down to one. Look at what she did to him. He's permanently traumatized. Mm. <laughs> 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 I think I'm just gonna sit here in my moosey pajamas with these awesome dark chocolate peppermint pretzel crisps and enjoy the evening with my daughter and then my husband when he comes home under my fluffy blanket with the cozy fire and a Snoopy movie. Good night everyone. Oh the weather outside is frightful. Fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.